Hey, my money baby, this is going to be a quick energy update collective message. So remember to take what resonates for you and leave what does not resonate with you. I hope all has been well with everyone. If you are returning, welcome in. I missed you guys. If you are new, you might want to hit that subscribe button because you're going to love it over here. I also have a water sign channel that I will leave in the description box. Go check that out if you are a water sign or dealing with a water sign or you have water in your chart. And does it matter which area in your chart if you have water in it? Go subscribe to that channel. I just posted over there as well. I also will be posting on my TikTok today. If you guys are interested in... Oh, you're here. I'm recording, babe. If you guys are interested in personal readings... Sorry, y'all. My man just came in. I'm on vacation. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are interested in booking a personal with me, that is closed for now. I will be opening my booking site back up the end of next week. I go home on Tuesday, so the booking site should be back up in the link in the bio by Friday. So if you do see the link below, do not book a, a reading because you won't get it until I'm home, okay? Which it says that on the site anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> This is energy here for the collective. What is the energy for the collective? I'm trying to be quiet as well, y'all, because my son is still sleeping. <laughs> What's this energy? What's this energy for the collective? So we have love triangle coming out. We have, it's easier to talk and harder to walk. Take action or leave. It's easier to talk and harder to walk. So someone can talk a good game to you. All right. I feel like this is the energy of someone needing to take action. All right. And make something right. And if they're not going to make something right, then just leave it alone. Okay. Then we have here, remain high vibrational. What's this energy here? In their feelings. So yeah, somebody's in their feelings. And instead of taking action, this is someone that does a lot of talking. And I feel like you're in the energy of, like I said, make it right or just leave me alone. All right? Especially if somebody put you in a third party here. The divine is telling you don't forget to remain high vibrational. I'm also hearing don't stoop to somebody else's level. Okay? Okay. I don't know who that message is for. What's his energy? They're obsessed with you and about to reach out. Divine masculine or divine feminine. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to reach out to you. All right. Remember that loyalty is rare. And if you find it, keep it running into you. Yeah, either you're going to run into somebody or someone's hoping they're going to run into you. Or for others of you, this person is going to reach out to you. Okay, or they're hoping to run into you. This is someone that may want to have another sexual encounter with you, for some of you. But there's someone coming in that put you in a third party, and they like to talk. They're a smooth talker, but they don't they don't stand on what they say. If this is somebody that acts like they want commitment, or someone that acts like they know what they're what they want in general, this is someone that really doesn't. And I feel like that's why this person is in their feelings right now because they had someone that was loyal, or they came across someone like you that is loyal. Yeah, they're learning some type of lesson, lesson learned as you are overcoming the situation. What's this energy here for the collective? Yeah, lesson learned, try to come out again. For some of you, somebody was doing spell work, okay? That's a side message for someone. Somebody could have been doing spell work or dealing with someone that was doing spell work on you with there being a love triangle. There could have been a third party here that was into that type of stuff, all right? You're going to be finding out about a lot of things. I'm getting that. And look, third party planning on contacting you. Some of y'all may hear from a third party, like I said, there's a third party here that's doing things behind the scenes. Yeah. To heal a wound, you must stop scratching it. Allow healing. No backtracking. Give so, give yourself time. So the divine could be telling you to move forward from something. Choose healing energy over taking someone back. 
But I feel like a lot of you don't plan on taking someone back, okay? I don't feel like you do. This could have been a situation where there was love at first sight, okay? Whether it was for you, for both of you, or for this past person in particular that's coming back your way, that's planning on returning. Somebody's name could start with an A, a J, a C, a W, a M, a O, a L, or an E, okay? First, last, or middle. So that'll tell you exactly who this person is. Okay, yeah, there's a third party that wants to contact you because she feels like someone's coming in for a second chance. Somebody's getting ready to backtrack and come your way, and they are, okay? Because we do have the energy here. They're obsessed with you. So there is someone that's coming back your way. And the divine is telling you, remain in high vibrational energy because there's a lot going on here in a third party situation. There's someone in their feelings because they're realizing that you were the one that was loyal. You were the one that cared. Yeah, and for some of you, they went to someone else and started a family with someone else and they may have ghosted you. Now they're hoping that they run into you. Yeah, because they feel like you're their two of cups. You're the one that they should have had a family with. Or you're the one that they should have proposed to or married or gave a commitment to, an offer to. Yeah, the divine is throwing a lot of things. In, I don't want to say the divine is throwing things in this person's face, but they're putting things in this person's face now. A lot of things are becoming clear for this person to see. What's this energy? I keep hearing that song, Don't Leave Me, Girl. It's an old school song. It's called Don't Leave Me. What's this energy here? What's this energy? I feel like for some of you here, I'm getting a download. For some of you, whoever this person is they put you in a third party with could have been somebody else from their past that they had dealt with before you. Okay, or this is just someone that they, they didn't want to let go of, okay? Or it's either somebody from their past or this is someone new, but they were a karmic, okay? There were a lot of people involved in the situation here. This karmic may want to have a conversation with you or say something to you because they feel like this person can't get over you. Love that first sight energy. It's like somebody can't get over you. That's why this energy is here. They're obsessed with you and about to reach out, Okay. This is giving me the energy of a mass wind coming back your way. Yeah. And there's a lover here. Yeah. There's a lover here that they feel like they're not giving. I don't know if this person feels like they're not going to get the offer or the offer is about to be taken away from them. Because they're a karmic. Lovers in reverse to the page of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could also be realizing that they have a lot of bad, bad luck is what it seems like to them. What is, blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. <laughs> Retrograde. Somebody's having a lot of bad luck. For what it seems like to them, but it's really not. Somebody could have been doing spell work. That's the spell work energy. Okay, to keep somebody bound, to keep someone stuck to them. Yeah, to try to have control. Thank you, spirit. To try to have control here. Somebody's very controlling or possessive. Somebody feels like they're dealing with someone that has no goals, is what I just heard. No goals. No ambition, no ambition, no ambitions, can't talk. No, they don't want to do anything with their life. This is someone that had you waiting for a commitment just to get, look, high priest, I'm telling you, just to go and give a commitment to somebody else. They breadcrumbed you, had you waiting just to give to somebody else. And now that you're moving forward, they're realizing that there was no loyalty in another situation. The divine, like I said, is showing this person things. High priest energy to that judgment energy. And as this person sees you, a lot of good things are taking place for you. Yeah, you're at peace. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Cancer energy, you're at peace. You're being gifted, rewarded, okay? Yeah, you're in this Queen of Pentacles. I also feel like there's a third party that's very intimidated by you or they're jealous of your success. Yeah, because you're in this Queen of Pentacles and you're closing a cycle. You're not even worried about this person, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. 
What's this energy? Somebody's very intimidated. Intimidated. I cannot talk during this retrograde. I swear I did not have this much mess ups in the water sign recording on the other channel. This is so crazy. But yeah, this is someone. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm a little goofy, but that's so funny to me. This is someone that is very intimidated by you. Whoever this third party is. They could do spell work on your finances as well, on your love life, so that no opportunities will come your way. But you're too favored. You're too blessed. Too much angel presence here. High priest, temperance to the judgment. You're too blessed. Okay? Some of you guys can be like entrepreneurs or business owners, or you just work a lot. Okay? There's someone here. I feel like somebody wants to come in and put the work in, the time in, the effort with you. But I feel like they know they're going to have to start from... Like the beginning from zero type shit. That's what I'm getting here. And that's why they're in their feelings because they feel like you're, you may not want to give them another chance due to their betrayal. Yeah, the will of fortune to the seven of swords. It's like the will is in your, the will is going in your favor. 11, 11 on the clock. The will is now turning and something is left up to you. You may choose to actually move forward. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is why somebody's in their feelings, King of Cups. Because you may choose to move forward now. Yep. You may choose to leave someone out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, like they did you. I don't feel like you're doing this to intentionally hurt this person. I don't feel like this is like revenge. I feel like this is you actually making a sacrifice to move forward to do what's best for you. I also feel like this person, if this is a twin flame situation... Or someone you have a spiritual connection with. This is someone, as you move forward, as you make the necessary changes and sacrifices to have better in your life, your twin flame, they begin to do the same thing. You guys are, you know, together. It's a, it's a twin flame thing. It's like you have a soul contract with this person. What you do is they watch you. It makes them want to do the same thing. It's not that they're trying to copy, but it's a reflection of you. The twin flames are a reflection of each other, right? So as you move forward, this person goes through a huge awakening. They end up wanting to leave somebody behind as well, make necessary sacrifices to do what's best for them as well. Okay, this person could be in their head a lot, stressed out. I also feel like there's a karmic, somebody they had a family with or they got married to or they, that they were in a serious commitment with that they thought they were going to have ten of cups with. They, this person is stressed out. Okay, but like I said, you guys have a soul contract, confirmation, horrifying. You guys have a soul contract, okay? You guys are meant. I don't want to say you guys are meant to go, like, be in each other's life, but in a way, you are meant to be in each other's life, whether that's together or just crossing paths. There's a spiritual connection here. 13, 13 on the clock. I'm also hearing this person admires your, like, your strength, all right? They admire your independence. But at the same time, that may intimidate this masculine as well because they, they are used to dealing with codependent energies. Yeah, that tries to keep them stuck to a wands. There are major decisions that need to be made here. Major decisions. I just seen the Six of Cups. You guys definitely have a past life together. Yeah, look. You guys definitely have a past life. You guys are a reflection of each other. Twin flame energy. As you move forward, this person has no choice but to do the same thing, okay? It may take this person longer, but they have no choice but to do the same thing. Yeah, but they're dealing with someone that's toxic. Capricorn energy. Someone can also have addictions, drinking issues, smoking. I just heard cocaine. So somebody could have like a real bad drug addiction. <clears throat> and as I'm saying that, my throat, <clears throat> I couldn't talk. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody don't want me to talk. I just told somebody's business. What's this energy? I just got a bad taste in my mouth too. Somebody don't want me to talk. Yeah, look, because they're trying to keep this hidden. The moon, Scorpio energy. Yep. Somebody has an addiction that they're trying to keep hidden. 
whether this is the masculine trying to keep a karmic addiction hidden from everybody, trying to make it look like everything is good and it's not, or this masculine has a, a secret addiction. All right. Yep. Yeah. But the truth is, somebody is heartbroken about the situation. They're now realizing that they made the wrong choice. Okay. They made the wrong choice. They went towards something toxic, but there were mutual emotions between them and you. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Now they want to gather this courage to come towards this Queen of Cups, someone that is their match. Right? Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. But I feel like you see this person as someone that has drained your energy. I feel like you're turning your back on this person or this person may feel that way. And that's something that's hurting. Yeah, because they were in the King of Swords in the past. So be on the lookout because some of y'all may hear from this person. For some of you, this person may want to come in and have a sexual encounter with you. They may have enjoyed the sex with you. This is only going to resonate for people that had sex with this person in the past. Okay. This is someone that actually enjoyed the sex with you. Like, you brought them wish fulfillment. All right? For some of you, they actually stopped having sex with a karmic after a while because it just wasn't enjoyable. Yeah, and now they're getting ready to walk away. All right? Yeah, Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. Yeah, Queen of Swords. That's the karmic. They're getting ready to walk away, and this karmic knows it. All right? You are their match when it comes to being vulnerable, emotional, you get what I mean? And just having a serious commitment, something that's genuine versus being with someone. They met their match in the past. When they were in this King of Swords, they met their Queen of Swords, yeah, and they missed out on you. Four Cups, something that they've been manifesting, yeah. They weren't supposed to have a reunion with someone. I feel like this is somebody from their past, like I said. This could have been somebody new that they chose over you, but it could have definitely been a past person. They weren't supposed to go have a reunion with someone. They weren't supposed to. But I feel like there was some spell work done that came out here due to some type of spell work. Look, the magician. Yeah, to call the tower here. I'm telling you. Somebody could have even did some spell work here to get someone to marry them, have a kid with them, and now it's all coming down the tower because they were never supposed to have a reunion. Four of Wands in reverse to the magician in the tower and the emperor. Yep. They were never supposed to have a reunion with this person. Let's get a message here. Let's close this out. There's a karmic that's mad. There's a masculine very regretful. Every day they walk out the house, they're hoping that they're going to run into you. <laughs> Every time they run out the house, they're hoping that they're going to run into you. What's this energy here? Yeah, they're going through an emotional storm here. There's a lot of unstableness with them and a karmic here. Something's very unstable. Yeah, then my phone goes off. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. Somebody's longing for you, having a second chance with you, and they're grieving a lot in this time. They know they owe you an apology, okay? Somebody definitely wants your forgiveness. They want to return. They want to tell you how sorry they are. They want to bring peace to a situation. Yeah, they wish that they would have built a foundation with you instead of wearing a mask. But you went silent on this person. You started to move forward. You feel like they made their bed, they can lay in it. That's what they chose. Then they can stay over there with that 1919. They can stay over there with that karmic. Yeah, even though they know they have chemistry with you. Yeah, they created a distance with you. There was definitely someone here into witchcraft. Yeah, look. Spell work, witchcraft, and they're going to get karma. Because they were doing this to a divine masculine. I'm telling you. Look, I'm telling you. Somebody was doing um, spell work to a divine masculine to get their loyalty for somebody to stay with them. Look, loyalty here. Loyalty is rare. If you find it, keep it. Somebody was doing this to make somebody be loyal to them, be with them. All right. 
Yeah, it was all a little fantasy though. All right, y'all. That's all I can give y'all. My son just woke up. Is he waking up? Okay, no, he's going back to sleep. Okay, good. Come on, let me finish. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like somebody's coming in to bring some type of clarity to a situation, truth to a situation. They chose excitement and things that they thought were for them in the past, and it only ended them up in financial situations and debt, spell work being done on them, and all type of stuff. But there's something that you also had an inner knowing about, okay? Your intuition was speaking to you when it came to this person. There's something you had an inner knowing about. And I do feel like, like I said, I don't see you guys taking this person back. I see you letting go. I see you moving forward. And I see you walking away. Okay? And it's not that you don't love them or you don't care about them. I just see that you feel like you deserve better. Okay? And that you can have better. All right? But, yeah. Somebody's coming back for a second chance wishing that they built something with you instead of a karmic and some of y'all karmic may try to reach out to you because you know this mask one's coming back your way all right that is what i got for y'all sorry for the distractions and all that <laughs> my man just came in from work and we're traveling so well i'm traveling because my man travels for work so I'm traveling with him and enjoying this New York and New Jersey and Philadelphia area. And I'm having fun, y'all. So I just wanted to give y'all a message because I know I haven't been recording um, since I've been out here since Monday. But I have been going live on TikTok. We've been having so much fun on TikTok. So make sure y'all follow me over there. I will be posting on TikTok later on today before I actually go live. So actually make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out my water sign channel in the description box. If you are a water sign, dealing with a water sign, or you have it in your chart. Okay. And until next time, I love y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Let's turn this channel up. Let's turn my water sign channel up. Okay. Let's get these messages to the people that need to hear these messages right now. I love y'all. Much love. And until next time, bye. <laughs>